Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Lead Forms add-on by WP Forms. The Lead Forms add-on allows you to create simple, attractive forms where users will answer each question one at a time, such as a conversational form. Unlike a conversational form, however, you can embed a lead form on any page or post on your site. With that said, let's get started. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Lead Forms add-on. You can do that by going to WP Forms, Add-on, and finding the Lead Forms add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Now that the status has changed, let's go right into the form builder. In the form builder, click on the Settings tab on the left and then click on the Lead Forms tab. Click on the available toggle to enable Lead Forms mode. When enabled, the Lead Forms add-on will automatically add a page break in between each of your form's fields, allowing users to proceed through the form one question at a time. You can manually delete a page break to have one or more questions on a single slide if you like. To do so, just click over the page break and click on the red trash can icon when it appears. Let's go back to the Lead Forms tab to customize the look and feel of our form. Create a short but descriptive title for your lead form so users know what kind of form they're going to be filling out. This title will appear above the form itself, so create wisely. The Accent Color field allows you to change the color of your form's buttons, progress bar, and more. You can either enter a hexadecimal color code if you already have something in mind, or you can manually select a color by scrolling through the palette until you find something you like. Below the Accent Color field is the Advanced Style Settings toggle. Enabling this will bring up additional settings you can customize. The Field Borders option lets you customize the color of the borders for each field in your form. You can also customize the primary text color for your fields. This will affect each field's label. Changing the color of the secondary text will affect the sublabel of each field in your form. You'll also notice a toggle called Form Container. Enabling this lets you change the color of the form's container background. Additionally, you'll see two more settings when the form container toggle is turned on, drop shadow and rounded corners. Turning on these two settings will apply these effects to your form's container. Finally, the lead forms add-on lets you export these style settings to another form should you decide to enable lead forms mode on it. You can copy the settings by clicking on the copy icon beside the field. Alternatively, if you created a lead form elsewhere and would like to use those style settings on this new form, you can paste those settings into the Import New Style Settings field. When you're done customizing, click on the Save button at the top of the page. Now you can embed this lead form to any post or page on your site. Click on the Embed button at the top of the page and either select an existing page or create a new page if you'd like. I'm going to add my form to an existing page. Once your form has been added to your page, click on the Publish or Update button on the top right corner of the block editor and you're done. You now know how to use the Lead Forms add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.